Welcome to Himalayan Chronicles guys, today we are coming with an interesting video. We are trying to install Sonoma 14.5 Mac OS or unsupported Macbook Pro early 2015 release. Yes guys, this Macbook Pro 2015 release is very famous because of lot of ports and good flexibility of upgrading the system. So as you can see it comes with Core i5 3.1 GHz, 8 GB RAM and 256 GB solid state device SSD and also it comes with innumerable number of ports guys 400 brightness screen and on the left side you can see multiple ports beautiful keyboard amazing tactile keyboard and on the left side you will see multiple ports including mac safe you know and also it comes with monterey mac os montero as the official final release given by apple and this comes with number of ports mac safe adapter two thunderbolt adapters and also it comes with uh, USB port 3.0 and headphone port and also it has got as I mentioned MagSafe, Thunderbolt 2 ports, USB 3.0 headphone port on the left side. So you have multiple ports which is released in 2015 edition. So it's very famous and very very useful to continue using this laptop in 2024 also. On the other side you will see SD card reader, HDMI output and USB 3.0 port. So you have two USB ports and two Thunderbolt ports and HDMI output along with SD card reader. So let's try to install Sonoma using open patch legacy patcher. It's a open core legacy patcher which will enable the installation of Sonoma 14.5 on unsupported MacBook Pro 2015 early edition. It is recommended to take time machine backup of your primary disk. So once you open open core website, you can go through the release notes, which also explains you the various patches and the various uh, problems that are rectified. Go to MacBook Pro section. Just validate whether your model number is in the list. If yes, go ahead and then install this particular open core legacy patcher, which will enable installation of Sonoma on macbook pro early release 2015 so our model is listed in the website so we are going to download this open core patcher and then it will build the os installer from there you can install the os and enjoy the experience of sonomo on your old laptop so the release notes i'm just going to the release note real quick and then we'll hit on download to start the download of the open core so this is a package file just click on the package file and download this open core legacy patcher and this legacy patcher also gets updated every now and then so have a look keep looking for updates so once you download this particular legacy patcher you launch the legacy patcher from your application folder and now click on the install first option on the left side click on install and that will start the patching it will ask you install to disk you need to select your primary disk the partition once you set the primary disk and then you will select the EFI partition once it is installed it's going to reboot the system again I'm telling you please note it's time machine backup is required before you start this process if something goes wrong you will lose all data so now I'm going to reboot the Macintosh laptop once the reboot is done we are going to proceed with the next steps so it is going to install now and we are going to reboot now in a short while. Stay tuned guys. So the Macintosh laptop has rebooted now. So we are opening the open core patch legacy patcher again. So it's going to open the tool and now we are going to download the installer, the actual image of Sonoma. Roughly it is about 12 to 13 GB of space. So once you get this screen, click on the install option, the second option, install OS. When you click on that, it asks you for create Mac OS installer, select the option and then it's going to download the installer for you. It's going to list all the available Macintosh software availability. Depending on the requirement, we are going to install Sonoma. Sonoma is 14.5 version. 2015 is not officially supported but we are installing it using this patcher. So I am selecting that installer. Now I am going to download it. It's, taking a, it's going to take a while for the download to complete. 
and now it is downloading now so once it is downloaded it will validate the downloaded content automatically once the validation is done we are going to navigate to the application folder and start the installation so right now it is validating the downloaded installer 14.5 so once i go to application i will go to mac os sonoma install as you can see once i click that the installer window will open it will ask me what hard drive to select where to install i agree to the terms and conditions i agree then i go show all disk where i can select the required hard disk to install so here we are selecting ssd we are going to enter the password over here for the root access and the installation will start it takes a while for the installation to complete once the installation is done it will reboot the system so stay tuned guys so we have finished rebooting the system now the next step is post install patch so when you click on the post install patch it's going to uh, you know you will be entering the password again then it will go into uh, the hard disk information and it will start installing all the kernel updates the kernel updates include your sound driver wireless lan card driver your display driver because uh, this 2015 model the open core patcher has already released the required k text or the drivers so it's going to install all the drivers to enhance your experience when using sonoma on unsupported 2015 macbook pro early 2015 model so this is going to patch your system with all the necessary drivers and it takes a while so once the patching is done you are going to reboot the system again then you will experience the full capabilities of sonoma instead complete all features will be available for you so you need to check the performance will it be sluggish or performance would be good once the install is done we will come to know how is the performance of the sonoma on macbook early 2015 model so it's going to install these patches which includes as i mentioned audio drivers network drivers display drivers gpu acceleration drivers and so on so once it is installed it's going to reboot the system in a short while and you are good to go and moreover the performance is equivalent to the native performance of sonomo installing on a supported laptop so even though it is unsupported we are going to get the similar experience now we are going to reboot the system now we will be welcoming to the boot sector screen here you can see the sonomo logo already i have clicked on the logo so it's going to launch here you can see when I go to about, you can see Sonoma 14.5. That's very good, isn't it? So now we are going to run the Sonoma in its full beauty. So finally, we were able to launch the Mac OS Sonoma 14.5 on the beautiful laptop MacBook Pro 2015 early edition i5 8GB. Beautiful, guys. Performance is almost good. I'm just launching the different widgets on the left side you can see and also you can also see the about box which says Sonoma 14.5 running on MacBook Pro 2015 model I'm going to launch the various applications so I've already installed few of the apps like uh, pages presentations Excel reports and so on all the native Mac tools so this is a keynote which is for the presentations and now we are going to launch the numbers which is would be excel equivalent for the apple ecosystem so i'm launching different different applications to analyze how the performance is so this is numbers this is excel equivalent of apple ecosystem and now also i'm opening the other tool keynote and the pages pages is nothing but the word equivalent of apple ecosystem so once I run this, all these applications, I would like to also check the performance. So I'm opening the blank template of all these applications one by one. As you can see, performance is okay. That too in the year 2024, almost nine years old laptop running beautifully well on the Sonoma version of Macintosh. Mac OS, I can see uh, this is the keynote, the tool, and also we are going to launch the numbers as well. The excel equivalent of apple ecosystem beautiful guys really performance is almost good you cannot compare with you know m2 or m4 or m3 kind of chipset but yes for i5 2015 model 
SSD, 8 GB RAM. This is great. That in 2024 you are able to run Sonoma. And the good thing about 2015 model is you can have bootcamp installed because it's Intel based processor. I can have bootcamp installed to run Windows parallelly. I will explain in the next video how to install Windows parallelly on your Apple laptop. That too, 2015 model. Because later when Apple switched to Silicon CPUs, bootcamp is not supported. So you have to use either parallel desktop or you can use VMware workstation or VMware Fusion in order to run the Windows parallelly with the Mac OS operating system. Here you can see about 8GB RAM, uh, MacBook Pro 12.1, nothing but 2015 MacBook Pro early release. So we are going to launch the various other different applications to understand the performance. It also supports Stage Manager. Stage Manager is nothing but having multiple windows you know you can launch multiple applications at the same time performance is also good the brightness is good display drivers are supported gpu acceleration is also enabled and that's why you're able to enable stage manager so once i click on stage manager i can navigate to various applications so this is a new uh, you know new utility that is available in sonoma very good actually i really like this utilities i can click anywhere and i can move on to different applications and you can see the animation so it's going to minimize on the left side and when i place the cursor on the left side i can open multiple applications and i can switch over to multiple applications in real time so that is stage manager wonderful overall i really like uh, the mac os sonoma 14.5 running on unsupported macbook pro 2015 model you can use as a daily driver i mean to say a daily task you can use uh, you can use for your Word documents, presentation, Excel reports, and also spreadsheets, as well as you can do a bit of movie editing. iMovie is also supported. So next part, I will explain you how to do upgrade of SSD because MacBook Pro normally have soldered SSD, but this particular MacBook Pro 2015 has got a slot-based SSD. It is a 16 by 12 pin SSD. We are going to upgrade it in the next video. I'll explain you what are the tools required and how is the performance.